Hey, it's Joy. Today is a special day because this is the weekend of the Tesla takeover event up in St. Louis Obispo at the Madonna Inn. This year, unfortunately, I could not book a room at Madonna Inn as previous years because they're all sold out already. But I'm staying at a boutique hotel five minutes away from there, so it's not a problem. Um, this year, though, they decided to make it a two-day event, and they have Sandy Monroe, of course, is coming back as a keynote speaker, Kim Java, whom I've been watching since before I got my Tesla five years ago. She's going to be there. I haven't seen her since, I think, 2019, since the Cybertruck unveiling event. And on Sunday, yours truly will have a panel. Um, I will be talking about the Tesla women movement. But the highlight of this entire event is May Musk as the keynote speaker. So I am really excited to meet May because she actually has liked a few of my Instagrams and Twitter. So I really just love her and admire her. And um, where is it? And I'm going to have her sign my copy. So I am taking you guys out on this trip and um, I am entering my car in as a custom showcase car again this year. Um, and I will walk you guys around. Well, hey, good morning. I am at the Tesla takeover event day one. I just parked my car here at the customized showcase section. So here's Joy Mobile. And um, we did have to arrive just a little bit earlier than um, the actual event um, official start time at 10 a.m. Um, because we need to set up. But I am going to go pick up my um, wristband, get the registration and um, Let's walk around, but I have seen quite a few of these custom cars that are just super creative and um, I'm already having a great time. There's also the super modified that you can enter into a contest. Oh my goodness, look at this one. BTS, seriously, <laughs> so cute. Wow, very creative. So I myself have never been like a custom car person before I got my Tesla, but um, yeah, this car has changed us quite a bit. And uh, check this one out. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Super cute. Too poor for X. Yeah, same here. I feel you. I feel you. All right. So. This is where the kids zone is going to be. And um, the vendors are setting up. Good morning. What's up? Hey. And this is the main stage where all the sessions will be taking place. And uh, we have actually Archimotos that are kind of roaming around as like a patrol car type of thing. And uh, yeah, kids zone. Kids will have so much fun here. Um, we got uh, Rivians. Last year we had like one. What's up, dude? Say hello. Good seeing ya. We got a Tycon this year. Hey. Oh, here's John and Kelvin, the masterminds behind the event. Hey. Thank you guys. All your hard work is uh being paid off yeah yeah no thanks for coming out thank you yeah 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 uh, yeah yeah and speaking yeah no no it. no thank you thank you thank you yeah. all right i'll catch you have guys fun, later bro. yes you. all right this year we have not only the uh the rivian r1t but also the r1s parked back here and um we got a porsche tycon this is actually uh, Marty's new car. So they started this SoCal EV club to pretty much um, 
include both uh, Tesla and non-Tesla EV owners in Southern California, which is a great idea. And um, here we have all the OG roadsters being showcased. So yeah, just this is how everything got started. And uh, this is Aptera, super cool. And I will come back here a little bit later and take a better look at this. And um, hi, yes. And that's where we can have lunch with the food trucks and uh, Elon Goat. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. I heard that this was gonna happen, but actually I did not think that they were <laughs> doing it. But yeah, Elon Goat is here. This is absolutely hilarious. Okay, let's take a good look at the Elon Goat. There it is. Okay, so Tesla Energy is here. So um, this year Tesla actually has a presence here, which is great. Um, they are starting to do a little bit more marketing um, versus you know previous years, which is so it's, it's wonderful. Um, and Tesla Energy definitely a side business um, that they're branching out. And um, Tesla power wall, chargers. So yeah, I am just thrilled to see how big this event has grown this year. Um, and this is the third year that we're having. Hey, Chris, I'm going to come back a little later. I, I need to go check in. This year, there is a whole section on EV camping. So Lightship whom I interviewed at the recent Electrify Expo in Long Beach. They are here and uh, the trailer is here, the camper is here. And then there's this uh, space campers. This is pretty cool. I think you sit like on top of your car or something. And um, it's actually pretty spacious. Very cool. And this mattress can fit in there. And there's this X rack that you can mount on the back of your car. And Cyberlander. It's pretty cool. So it's all expanding. Camp stream. Oh, so it's a little camper that you can put on top of your car. And um, you can like climb up there and camp. After walking the grounds, I sat in on a few sessions and I got to see the Uptera driving into the tent, which is really cool. The first day of Tesla takeover is done and I am exhausted, but it was such a fun day because I got to meet up with friends, especially those that I have not seen in a while who are from out of state and out of the area. Even my high school friend whom I haven't seen in 30 years until my brother's wedding two weeks ago. And um, now I'm seeing him and his um, beautiful family like twice in a month. But um, I set in on Kim Java's session. Um, it was very inspiring to hear her journey on her YouTube channel 
And uh, Tessa Raj did a fantastic job moderating, as always. He asked really great questions. Um, last night, I also picked up Sandy Monroe, uh, Corey and Eric from Monroe Live, as well as Chris, aka Dirty Tesla at the airport. Um, they all flew in together from Michigan, so they got to cramp in my little uh, blinged out joy mobile. And um, I was wondering what their reaction would be because they have never seen my car. And we had these four men, four big guys in a blinged out um, ambient light lit joy mobile. And Sandy's like, I feel very feminine. <laughs> it was it was such a fun, short 10 minute ride from the airport to Madonna Inn, but um, it was really entertaining to um, see and hear their reaction in my bedazzled Model 3. And then um, I also caught up with uh, K10, Kristen from Twitter, uh, along with her husband, um, as well as... Uh, Oh my goodness, I'm just like drawing a blank here because I'm so tired. Um, also hung out with um, Heather and Cameron from um, Bay Area Diary. They run a 50,000 subscriber Mandarin speak, speaking YouTube channel um, on Tesla EV's lifestyle travel. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just a wonderful time seeing everybody. And today, it really mainly was about connecting with people. Oh, I forgot about uh, Alexandra and Amy, Tesla Boomer Mama. And um, Amy, they did a panel with Farzad. Um, and it was very insightful, very entertaining. And these two ladies, I've only met via Zoom. Um, so it was great to finally see them in person and several others, just especially those that came up to me and told me how my videos had helped you to make a decision on Tesla. Thank you. Really appreciate all your feedback. So um, tomorrow I am going to do a little bit more deep dive on Aptera because I saw it today and it was really fascinating. And of course, I have a panel coming up right before May Musk's keynote speech. So see you tomorrow. Today is day two of the Tesla takeover event and there are actually less people this morning. So I got to check out Aptera up close and personal. This is Aptera, a startup company, EV company that's uh, solar powered actually. So um, you can just park this outside, it'll charge yourself up. And according to their website, it can go up to a thousand miles per charge, which is really impressive. And uh, the design is very futuristic, which is cool. I like the futuristic design and the simplistic, minimalistic design, uh, kind of like Tesla. Um, and uh, supposedly, the lowest version or the base model starts at uh, mid 30,000, which is pretty affordable. Um, and this will be a good little commuter vehicle, EV of the future. But uh, the cargo space is pretty big. Um, I wonder if you can also do camping here. It looks like you'll be able to because it's um, pretty long back here. Um, but it, it is a two-seater, and when it moves, I saw it move yesterday. Um, it looks very smooth, which is cool. And uh, I do wish them much success. So check out Aptera. Then in the afternoon, I participated in a Women in Tesla panel on stage with my good friends, Kristen, aka K10 on X, 
formerly known as Twitter, as well as Heather, also known as Mrs. Tai Two on YouTube. This is next session. Immediately after our panel, the fabulous Miss May Musk, the keynote speaker, arrived. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her because we were leaving the stage as she was coming in, and she had her meet and greet actually during our session, and the line was super long. I stood in line, but by the time that I was halfway in line, she got pulled on stage because it was her keynote time. Um, so I did not get a chance to have her sign my book. So I am a little disappointed. Um, I tried talking to the event organizers. They're like, no, she cannot sign anything. And uh, she pretty much had to leave right after her keynote speech. You talk about how your parents were quite adventurous, which actually kind of really surprised me. So maybe talk about uh, how you were raised and uh, instilled in you a sense of adventure. Well, my parents, I went to the Kalahari Desert nine times and we would sleep on the ground and then zip up our sleeping bag so the hyenas didn't bite our faces off and then we would uh, shake our shoes every morning to make sure there's no scorpions in there and then when we would go behind a bush my dad would always check that there's no lions or snakes or anything there and um, that's how we grew up so we were living dangerously carefully which is what my dad said fortunately i stood close by the stage so when she was walking up stage i quickly say hi may this is joy because she and i kind of interacted on instagram and twitter so she smiled and waved at me um, and i got to sit right in front of the stage during her session and she just this so fabulous and then um as she was leaving i got to say goodbye to her so bye may so another successful event put on by the california tessa owners club so thank you so very much john calvin raj T tim steven marty san joaquin valley T uh, tessa owners club team joe um, everybody, I know I'm forgetting people, um, Tesla Club, Austria came out and did the amazing light show the night before and um, everyone that came up and say hello to me and gave me feedback on how my videos had helped you to get a Tesla. Thank you so much. This is why we have this owners meetup event is just for us to all connect in person. So. If you are not plugged in at your local Tesla Owners Club, please look one up and start attending their events. Thank you so much for coming along. Hopefully, you can come next year if I haven't met you yet. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.